So this is a quick rundown of what you can do with the free version of Premiere Plus to embroidery. So I'm here in Premiere Plus 2, the free version. The first thing you're going to notice is most of the buttons are grayed out when we start because there are no designs in my work area, so there's nothing to work with. I do want to point out you can change your hoop by clicking on the Change Hoop button. And this is really just creating a work area. This doesn't, you're not forced to use this hoop when you get out to your machine. So I use this often just as kind of, if I know I want a six inch design, I might check, pick a six inch hoop. And really most of the time I put a check mark in my enter hoop size and then I can just type in my dimensions. So if I know I'm gonna be working in say the 150 by 150 hoop, I might just type in 150 by 150. Notice anywhere that you're typing in numbers, as you hover over it, it will also show you that number in inches. I'm going to click OK. So now I've changed to a 150 by 150 hoop. The next thing I can do is I can open or insert designs. Now if I go File Open, if it's a design, I could risk saving over it. So most of the time when I'm bringing in a design, I will go File, Insert. Then I'm going to bring in, and I'll bring in, let me bring in this Bumblebee, say, and I'm going to put him here. And notice I also have a shortcut here to insert, so I'm going to insert this, and maybe I'll bring in this little related bumblebee. I'm going to move him here. So now you'll notice I have several other things selected. I can copy, cut, paste. I could bring in a duplicate of this design if I wanted to. If I click Duplicate, it's just going to copy and paste and give me a second one of that one. Now, what else can we do with this design here? If you'll notice, on the top, and on the right side of this design are little arrows. Or, I'm sorry, on the left side. If I put my cursor over the design on the left side, on that little arrow, and click it, it will mirror the design left to right. I'm going to click this one to select it. So if I click this button, it will mirror the design up and down. I have a couple of other buttons here. I can move through the designs, either by clicking on them or by using these buttons. I'll talk about combining and color sorting in just one moment. The other thing I want to show you though is you can select the design and the little handle on the right side, if I grab and turn it, I can rotate the design. So maybe I want them to be shaped a little bit more like this. Now the big advantage to working with the software, even if you're just working here in the free version, is notice these three designs now all use a similar color palette. So I can say combine, combine all, and then click color sort, and it's taken these three designs and it's turned them into one, or it's combined all the colors, so now I'm, I won't have to change to the blue for each different design. I'm gonna go ahead and click undo. I wanna show you one other thing. I'm gonna click undo until they're separate designs again. Now I could come down here and go file, save, and it's gonna save this as a VP4 file. When I save that VP4 file, what that means is I could come back here later and I could edit these three objects as individual objects. So if I knew I wanted to save it, but maybe I wasn't sure about the position or I might want to tweak it later, I'm going to save that VP4 file as my working file so I could come back and make changes even just to the layout or rotation. And then if I go down to File, Export, this is where I'm going to select the format that I want for my machine. Now, for my Foffer Viking machines, I always go to the VP3. We do have some machines that can read the VP4, but the VP3, that way when I see that file, I know it's my final combined file. It's giving me some different options. Notice here, when I export now, it's going to combine them, so they're all one piece. It would remove overlap if I had one on top of the other and wanted to get rid of fill stitches behind other fill stitches. Color sort, so if I have the same purple in multiple pieces, it, it turns them into one, or it changes it to one color stop. And optimized stitch link just looks for really, really short stitches and lets and removes those. I do want to mention one last thing, and that is we've got, first of all, we do have a button here I didn't talk about, Rotate 45, that will let me rotate the design 45 degrees at a time, if you're wanting to be a little more specific than just using the little rotation handle. And then we have a button here for Modify Design. On Modify Design, I can type in a rotation amount. I can also change the size of the design. Now, another way that I can change the size of the design is if I put my cursor over one of the corner handles, I can make it larger 
or smaller. But I want to warn you that when we're working in the free version, notice my resize option is grayed out. So if I make a design larger or smaller, it is not recalculating the stitches. So I'm going to either make the stitches much longer, or if I made it really, really small, I have in this design, it looks like 5,800 stitches. So if I made this be really, really little, now I have 5,800 stitches in, the same, in, in that little bitty tiny area, and that's not going to stitch well. So keep that in mind if you're trying to adjust the size of a design using the handles. So that's really, that's the big overview of what you can do in the free version. So it does let you bring in multiple designs, arrange them, put them together, and then save or export them for your stitch out. I hope that helped.